Lunk ecosystem is constantly building and expanding. Now, if you want to contribute and you want to help, there are certain ways that you can do that, and they really, really help. Right now, signing up at my login for weeks, that's going to burn some tokens for you. That's going to give you some opportunity to help and contribute. And if you're doing a trading, if you're a trader, if you're trying to figure out your way through cryptocurrency and you're using Luna Classic to do that, there's an opportunity to have a platform in order for you to learn how to do some trading with fairly low risk don't don't waste your money but make sure that when you're doing it you're burning tokens that's important right there so make sure you sign up at weeks and then more important is terra casino if you haven't already you should go check that out uh and, and you know i keep telling you about luna classic and how important it is that that we we go over there and we burn some luna classic and stuff like that but did you know that it uses bitcoin ethereum doge bnb matic usdt uh there's a bunch of different uh, cryptos that you can use over there so give them a check today go see and uh enjoy yourself a little bit of gaming enjoy your uh, have a good time i mean that's what it's all about right let's get back to the show terra luna classic has a massive ecosystem but we don't know about it because we're not there every day we're not doing stuff about it we're just investors we're just kind of holders so i'm bringing you different projects revisiting projects that we've talked about before and i want to make sure that you're informed about what is going on in the Terra Classic universe. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go through our news real quick. We're going to check a little price action. We're going to skip USTC for the day uh, for the sake of brevity. And uh, we'll see what we got going on here. So not really anything in the realm of news to go over, just a couple of proposals that might be making their way out there for a vote. Uh, fixed gas fee for dApps, uh, layer one security solution with relaxed KYC, 10xing the gas fees, which is up for a vote right now. Uh, recapitalize on alternative stable coins. So a couple of different things to discuss right there. Uh, go to the Commonwealth, check it out, read through some of these if you are interested because your vote does matter. And of course, as always, align yourself with validators who align with your beliefs to make sure that we have progress going through. If you as a delegator are voting yes to proposals and your validator is posing no, then you have a problem and you should help this community by making sure that the validator that you uh, fund yourself with or that you stake with is somebody who votes in your best interest if you don't believe that's the case make a swap make a change so um really not a lot going on so let's go with the price action to see where we are because guess what we said it was going to bounce and it bounced so there you have the move right there uh, we've had a nice little gain over the last few hours. There was a nice uh, dip in the market, brought us a pump of about 12% off of that bottom. This is when Iran launched more missiles or Israel launched more missiles at Iran. Of course, tensions are still escalating there. Don't know how that's going to end, how that's going to play out. But any kind of negativity was quickly bought up as we reached the Bitcoin having seems like uh, this market and a, a lot of the broader markets are wanting to continue on and they seem to be shrugging off some of the issues right now. So 12% increase in a short period of time. Now, of course, that doesn't belie the fact that it did dip down uh, pretty significantly into that 9189 range before finding buyers at that range. And of course, that is the 382 line. Uh, we, we're doing a reverse fib right here from the from the dip to try to see how we're clawing our way back we got into the golden ratio which is the 618 to 786 level but we're still not pumping back into it i uh, would think that we're probably going to go to 107 up here uh in this range right here have another retest uh right in this line and you know perhaps even reject back down to 10 and then make our way back up here to this 117 area and then beyond that well, we'll look at that when we go. But once we get in the golden ratio, I do assume that the rally is going to be back on. And of course, as we head a little bit sideways, I did tell you yesterday, I think we're going to head sideways. Now, this volatility does not change the fact that if you make a channel out of this, then what you are witnessing is still just a lot of random sideways action. So uh, hopefully that continues or that, and, and that'll be good for consolidation, by the way, uh, to get. Uh, a little more basis just exhaust the sellers is basically the point right now people are selling as we pump just a little bit more and a little bit more so what we're trying to do is stop the sellers so 
overall volume up just a little bit, 35 million. Uh, there was an article out. I didn't want to share it with you because it was silly, but it said uh, uh, volume over 30 million. Well, volume was a billion a day, not too long ago. So uh, saying that volume is back up to 30 or 35 million, that's a sign of a potential reversal, but we're not close yet. We need, uh, I, th- I want to say we need at least $100 million a day uh, in trading volume to really start to get a sense of Guys, the bull run is almost here. The halving is almost here. The Hong Kong Ethereum ETF is almost here. You like ERC-20. We all like ERC-20. And the best way for you to accumulate more ERC-20 tokens or more Bitcoin, it's cryptonomy.finance. If you've been here before, you know that I've been talking about a lot of these tokens. There's over 400 that you can choose from. They offer an exchange with the be- with the best rates uh, without commissions and support from a highly qualified support and trading team 24-7. And this is available to every participant. Of course, you get immediate support if you are a VIP. And you can deposit UST into your cryptonomy account. And then you can start to buy the desired assets that you want to use over here and exchange them as needed. Over 400 of them. And there's going to be a lot of updates coming out over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. So guys, if you are looking to advance your crypto portfolio, you need more tokens. Why not let the tokens that you currently have work for you? Go to cryptonomy.finance, sign up today, and let it grow. Attention being paid. And I think that comes from retail investors. So we'll see how this goes. Market cap up 2.55% on the day. Uh, USTC, again, we're not going to get deep into it, but 25 million in volume, 156 million market cap. Uh, By the way, that means about 1.5, 1.7. We're not even at two cents by the at at, at this point. So um, coming over to Lunk Dash, there are proposals. There's a proposal to decrease the maximum block size, 10 extra gas fees, minimum commission 2.5 changing the reward share distribution on the burn tax. And uh, this is an IBC core client proposal. Uh, this proposal, it, it uh, just came out today, by the way, and it and it kind of noted that this is actually an important one. Um, well, it doesn't give you the, the entire update over here. You have to go to station. Uh, we'll go to station over here. This is restore IBC to Kujira because it turns out that we found some problems there. So, um, uh, your attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. We extend our warmest wishes for a pleasantly riveting time ahead. Best regards, the Rakoff team. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, but uh, make your vote count. On the burn tracker, on the burn tracker, 552 million. So up just a tick, not a lot, but but just a tick. And let's kick off the final piece of the day. And we're going to revisit a game that we played a little while back. And I want to show it to you one more time. Bring it back around. It's an MMO RTS, and I've logged into it. I'm sitting here at start, and this is something that's built on the Luna Classic blockchain. And uh, this is called Terra Tritium or Tritium. Uh, we're going to hit next here. Welcome to Terra Tritium. Uh, let's build the first building. Click on the selected slot. This is going to sound familiar for you, uh, hopefully. Uh, we're going to click here on the spot what it's given us. And uh, now click on the selected build. We're going to click that here. You can see the information about the build. Uh, colonization module is a floating dream. Flying house takes humanity beyond all limits. So that's going to be what we want. And we're going to build that. And there we go. Now, uh, of course, like most, there's a possibility we could speed up the process. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. No speed up left here. In the left control panel, we have information about the galaxy name, uh, which is Rigel. Um, now you have the population for your station the amount of energy that you have uh, these are your resources which are metal uranium and crystal uh, then you have in the center of your control panel you have the central navigator here you can navigate by your planet quadrant or region and then you on the right of the control panel you have rankings where you can see your position and other players you have also your nfts and tritium balance so we'll know exactly how much we have there connect by connecting the wallet then we have, uh, you also have your tritium balance right here. And then you have the NFTs that are available. Now, I don't have any NFTs yet. Obviously, as you can see, uh, the colonizer has your necessary information. Um, let's see what that looks like. All right. So that's what this looks like over here. Uh, you can choose the game mode, see the rankings, change your NFT profile, and send or receive messages. So uh, th- there you go. You've got colonizer. Uh, you've got scientist, commandant, commandant, uh, merchant, mercenary. So uh, interesting. Now we want to see the space warp stays on the bottom here. You can navigate the quadrant and see this planet 
explored and unexploited. All right, so that's going to be this right here. Uh, I'll give you jump coordinates uh, and destination coordinates as well. So now you can explore the Teratridium universe and start your own destiny among the stars. Okay, so now we have the colonization here. All right, so are our options, not really any options there. So uh, construct colonization. We've got a message uh, coming at us, and that is build construct colonization let's close that one out i guess and uh pop that back down and now as i'm highlighting it's giving me the opportunity to start building more stuff so um guys go check this game out again i'm just getting started here over the course of the next couple of days i'm going to build up a little area and uh we'll see how it is and and then uh start to explore a little bit about this planet and see exactly what's on it what it does and We'll attach some wallets. We'll we'll get everything connected. Uh, grab some NFTs, and we'll see what this game looks like. And there is a ranking system, by the way. There are several players up here who are uh, participating in this. Uh, there are currently uh, hundreds of players, actually, um, two hundred and thirty-five players currently playing right now. So uh, pretty active uh, for the Lunt community. So uh, guys, go check out Terratridium. That's at Rigel, R I G E L dot teratridium.com and start playing today check it out attach your wallet you know let's see what happens here let's build a community uh, it's not financial advice but i'm always right